Every one of us, all right, here we go. There's a lot of pressure on this moment. You'll understand why in a second. Okay. Oh, yeah, Picasso. That's what I heard there. Man, this is... You have no idea what I'm drawing. Oh, what? A horse? A horse? Whoa! Come on! I am drawing it good. See? All right. <laughs> it's, it's beginning to... Yeah, okay. There we go. Sure. There we go. All right. I'm going to keep picking at this thing. I just need to leave it alone. Okay. <laughs> The horse, okay? We also have, every person has a horse and a little bit of force perspective there, huh? And a cart, okay? Yeah, impressed. This is fine. Yeah, no, feel free to clap. My daughter, who is the actual expert drawer, was in here earlier. I'd be embarrassed if she... Oh, there she is. Yeah. What do you think, Ellie? Horse and cart? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Okay. Every single person in here has a horse and a cart. Okay? Horse and cart. In the cart is everything that you desire out of life. Every aspect. It's your marriage... It's your finances, it's your kids, it's your job, it's your dreams, everything. Okay, repeat after me. Everything's in the cart. Okay? Everything about your life fits here in the cart. The horse is your identity. Okay, this is who you are. The cart is what you do. The horse is what pulls and makes the cart move forward. The horse is who God made you to be. It's the very grace of God. It's the picture of who the Lord made you to be. And as you agree with his design, as you agree with how he wired you, how he motivated you, what he put on the inside of you, all of the dreams of your heart begin to be expressed as you step into your God-given identity. Now, I am a father. And if ever I made the choice because of a value, because I, I believe in fatherhood, I believe in the importance of fatherhood, if there's ever a time in my life where I took fatherhood and moved it in front of who God made me to be, the cart would be put before the horse and my life would grind to a halt. People make this mistake all the time. They place value on the things that they do above who God made them to be. And any time you place what you do, the activities, the passions, the desires, listen, I know that you want to reach the world for Jesus. I know that you want to see people get saved, but can I tell you that you are not an evangelist. You are you, and evangelism is something you do. All of us should do the work of evangelism, but it doesn't replace our identity in who God made us to be. Are you with me here? You are a human being, not a human doing. Yes? When we put things in the right order, when we take who God made us to be, and we place it first. Everything in our life moves forward with grand purpose, and there is an ease and a grace from heaven that comes upon everything that you're trying to do. It just works. I, I so many times, so many conversations with people that the, the value for something in the kingdom, doesn't matter what it is, it can be a really great Christian value they'll place it before in a priority that's outside of who God has made them to be. And when they do that, 
they notice that their family starts falling apart, or the job starts falling apart, stuff starts getting harder instead of it being easier. Did you know that when you function in the grace of God, when you function in your God-given role in the body of Christ, when you do, when you act out of who God made you to be, when your actions are connected to this grace, everything moves forward and you can labor as strong and as hard as you want and still remain in a position of rest. When you enter into this relationship with Jesus, you got saved, you got wonderfully and gloriously forgiven, your life became alive in him. The Holy Spirit touches you and you experience the life of heaven and so many things are going well. And then I, the, the, I'll, it happens so many times. I'll have these conversations with people to be in crisis because things were going so well and they're living for Jesus and everything's, it's just, it's working. And then one day they come to me and they're like, Pastor Jamie, I'm exhausted. I'm burning out. I'm doing everything right. Why am I stressed? Why am I anxious? Why, is, what, why, why are things getting harder? I thought being a dad was part of God's priority for my life. Why is it all of a sudden the hardest and heaviest and it's just totally wearing me out? Can I tell you that when you operate out of your God-given identity, the grace of God, the part of the body that you are, when they, you place that as the way that you are moving your life forward, everything you do in life, even the hard things, Move forward with ease. I know it's hard to believe because so many don't live like this. It's why we're having this conversation. When we hook up your horse and cart tonight, now this might be the beginning of a conversation, not the end of one. We're exploring a topic. I wish that with like definite purpose, I could sit down with each one of you laser beam you and go, this is what you are, this is what you are, this is what you are. Little, it would take me five minutes. Little interview, I could tell you exactly what role you are in the body of Christ because that's part of my gifting. Once you understand this, again, this is the beginning of a conversation, a journey, a pursuit. As soon as you figure this out, your life will come undone with graciousness. The goodness of God will start being displayed in ways that you cannot you can't fathom from the point of view, especially if you've been striving to try to achieve things for God. That stuff all goes away. Life starts moving forward.